Hello everybody. Welcome to Pinnacle Online Coaching Classes. In this video lecture, we are going to do close test and we are going to do part 10 of close test. We have made a complete series for you, a complete series of 20 video lectures for close test. It's a very, very important topic for SSC CGL Tire 2 exam and this is very important. You will be given minimum 25 questions from this section. Realizing the importance of this topic, a complete series has been made of 20 video lectures. We started from the very simplest stage of what is a closed test, what kind of closed tests are asked by SSC, what are the various topics which you need to focus on, what are the passages related to, how are closed tests uh, in SSC different from those in banking, everything has been done with you, how grammar is your grammatical knowledge of uh, is to be applied in closed test, what to do in those situations where you do not know what to fill in the blank and you feel the sentence is fine even without the blank. Everything has so far has been covered with you and this is part 10. In part 10, we are going to do a historical passage about closed test. We are going to do a closed test which is based on a historical background. This is one topic where you will require a little background knowledge and a little knowledge about the topic is going to be highly beneficial. This series of closed tests, it's a part of our Job Assure Part 2 program which is a scientifically designed program based on a daily basis where you are going to be given a syllabus, what is to be covered. And after that, a test is conducted every day by the end of the day. So you can really know how much you are scoring and where you stand. So now let's begin closed test, which is based on a historical passage. Let's begin. Historical passage. First, let us read it. The Aryans dash about Northern Asia and Europe over the wide grasslands. But as their numbers grew and the climate became drier and the land dash, there was not dash food for all of them to eat. Dash, they were forced to move to other parts of the world in search of dash. They spread out all over Europe and dash to India, Persia and Mesopotamia. Thus, we find that nearly all the people of Europe and northern India and Persia and Mesopotamia, although they differ so much, so much dash, each other now are really descendants from the same dash, the Aryans. Of course, this was very long dash and since then much has happened and races have got mixed up to a large extent. The Aryans dash one great ancestral race of the people of the world today. So what is this passage about? This passage is about the Aryans. And if you read any history book, the first chapter is Indus Valley Civilization and the next chapter immediately after that is about the Aryans. And what is important? How they came to India. How did they come to India? What was their reason for coming to India? All that has been covered. Now, if you have a little background of knowledge about the subject in historical passages, it proves to be highly beneficial. Now, you might think, oh, I have no knowledge about history. I don't like history. I never liked it in school. All these kind of thoughts are going to come to your mind. Very basic knowledge is required. You will not have to ever go into depth, but very basic knowledge is required. Okay. Now, let us see how we are going to do it. The Aryans dash about Northern Asia and Europe over the wide grasslands. Now here my four options are wandered, wandered, worked or worried. This passage, it's a mixture of both vocabulary and grammar based, mostly towards vocabulary. Okay, wandered, what is the meaning of wandered? W-A-N-D-E-R-E-D, -E -E wandered, wandered is to aim, ro uh, to uh, roam about a place aimlessly. Okay, that is the meaning. Aimlessly, you are just moving from place to place without any specific purpose. And this wandered, W-O-N-D-E-R-E-D, -E -E wandered. This is to think about something with curiosity. I wonder what he will be wearing for the party today. I wonder what she will say when I tell her this. So, you are thinking about it with curiosity. Worked and worried. Worried is a stressful state and then it is worked. Now, here out of all these, they wandered, A is going to be the right one. They wandered about Northern Asia and Europe over the wide grasslands. If you have a little background knowledge of history, then you will definitely know that Aryans, they had plenty of cows and they used to wander from place to place for looking for fodder and water for their cows. So they wandered about Northern Asia and Europe over wide grasslands. 
but as their numbers grew there you are referring to the aryans but as their numbers grew and the climate became drier and the land dash land grassful land green land grassless or land dead see the very word but it is going to show a contrasting situation and here very clearly it is given forced to move when will they be forced to move when the land will become green land becoming green means plenty of trees grass growing that is not correct land becoming grassful or full of grass that is also incorrect so land will become grassless and here and is the connecting word when we have used but their numbers grew and the climate became drier this is a negative thing the climate became drier so two similar things will be connected so land becoming dry uh, Uh, climate becoming drier and land becoming grassless grassless is going to be the right word there was not dash food for all of them to eat number 3 there was not full food there was not enough food there was not plenty food there was not grass food now grass there is nothing called grass food so this is incorrect there was not plenty food please remember that this word plenty it is always going to be followed by of and then the noun plenty of what plenty of water plenty of people plenty of questions plenty of video lectures are being made by pinnacle plenty will never be followed immediately by the noun i will never say plenty food plenty children plenty trees are cut down every year it's incorrect of has to be there and here we do not see any of so plenty gets eliminated okay then we are left with there was not full food this is incorrect there was not enough food there was not enough food for all of them to eat dash they were forced to move to other parts of the world in search of dash now why are they moving out they are moving out because there is no plenty of food so therefore they are going to move to other parts of the world in search of what in search of riches money shelter or food they are going to move out in search of food because that was deficit there so here in search of food is going to be the answer now let us look at option 4 dash they were forced to move to other parts of the world in search of food so they were forced as they were forced because they were forced or yet they were forced what is going to be the right one here in number 4 here so is going to be used so is used when you are giving a reason for something so is used when there you are giving a reason for something so means and for this reason they were forced to move to other parts of the world in search of food they spread out all over europe and dash to india number 6 from number 6 onwards to 10 we are going to do in the next slide here they spread out all over europe and dash to india they went to india they came to india across come to india or has come to india now it is in the past tense since it is in the past tense we cannot use come come is in the present has come is in the present perfect so these two options will get eliminated what are we left with we are left with they went to india or they came to india here we will say they came to india this is going to be the right one thus we find that nearly all the people of europe and northern india and persia and mesopotamia so these are the places to where the aryans went although the people of these places they differ so much dash each other now they differ so much to each other now with each other now they differ so much on each other now or differ from now see when you use differ on then you will mention the point on which you differ i differ on this particular point here it is phrasal verbs differ with you are going to differ with a person if two people have different views then i will say i differ with my mother on this particular point when you say differ from then the two things which are being compared or the two points which are being compared they are taken into consideration this chair differs from that one so here in this case the people of all these places question number 7 it's going to be differ from the people of all these places they differ uh, they differ so much from each other now uh, uh, they are really descendants from the same dash the aryans now here they are real uh, these people who differ so much now they are really descendants from the same dash the aryans number 8 friends family and sisters or aryans now it can't be same aryans the aryans that is incorrect family and 
friends will also not be the case here we have to use the word ancestors who are ancestors ancestors are our forefathers of course this has a very long dash of course this has a very long ago this was very long ago very long time very long period or wait now wherever a specific time period is given here we are trying to say when did all this happen of course this was a very this was very long ago is going to be used ago is used for all those situations where a time frame has been given 10 minutes ago 15 minutes ago so here very long ago and since then much has happened and races have got mixed up to a large extent the aryans are dash the aryans are dash number 10 the aryans are so the aryans are enough the aryans are therefore the aryans are but question number 10 the aryans are here this is a comma the aryans are but one great ancestral race of the people of the world today this is my close test which talked about the aryans where they were from originally why did they move to different parts of the world so this was a passage that was related to history and if you had a little knowledge of history definitely it would come in handy i wish you all the very very best and this was part 10 of close test now we will move on to part 11 all the best thank you